Hello, comrades. Hello, comrades. Um, I'm doing a review of the uh, Airsoft Agent K416. Uh, this was made in uh, 2003. It has three selector switches, semi and full auto and safe. Uh, it has a detachable magazine. It is um, an AEG. It's a uh, AEG. Don't know if I can get the stock off, but whatever. Um, so I'm going to test fire it. Um, this is good for CQB because the CQB place that I go to, which is in Lincoln, Rhode Island, it's called Bowground Z, uh, has used to use these as rental guns. They, they are very cheap. It's a good price. For 130-ish bucks, that's how much this cost at Bass Pro. Uh, it is very affordable. It has many rails, so you can, I don't know, you can throw on 70 flashlights if you want. I don't give a crap. Uh, this top rail is mainly used for the iron sight, which can fold down. I can't do it. Uh, there's also this sight. That is one of those weird sites where it's like a pip site, I guess. I don't use it that much. So I just keep it like this. I like it like that because, because it's better than this. I can't really see through it because here it's like... I can't see any, I can't see anything. Here I can, if I'm looking down sights, I can see, I can see the um, enemy. If they're like right over here, if they're right in front of me, I can swivel my gun to there and then to there. It's pretty simple. That's why I don't like the pep sights or whatever they're called. But the top rail, mainly used for red dots and sights and stuff. This is actually the gun they use in SCPSL. Don't know what you don't know if you guys know what that is, but it is it's a um it is a video game. Sound like a dork revealing an airsoft gun and I'm saying that this is also in a video game. But they use this gun in SCP SO. I don't remember if I mentioned that licensed by H and K. Very reliable gun. This is very findable. You can usually find the six millimeter rounds anywhere. These are like some of the best rounds well for in my opinion because I haven't used anything other than point twos. They're really good. And also, you can use, this is a hop-up. You push, you pull this back, then it opens the flap for the hop-up. So, magazine out. Reload. And then, hang on. I need to do a better job of getting that on camera. It's based off the M16 because the um, it's based off the AR with for the system of the bolt, I guess, or of this release mechanism. Uh, but for the people that say that you can close the bolt with this button, you can't with this gun. 
This airsoft gun you can't do that. Uh, has a um, adjustable stock that can go from for like a kid with tiny arms to to a fully grown man. But yeah, uh, AG. I'm trying to get that. Eh, good. This is a very nice gun. I like it a lot. Uh, it's a high kappa. High kappa. 120, 150 rounds, if I remember correctly, of six millimeter. Uh, Battleground Z, the place I play at, only allows semi, no full auto, because it's a CQB arena. The uh, max FPS is about 400 feet per second. But the funnest thing to do when I'm at home is just go <laughs> and spray down stuff. But. But the annoying part about this is the mag. You have, you got this that you have to wind. That's on basically every AEG gun. But I don't really like it that much because you're in the middle of a, you're in the middle of fighting and then all of a sudden, and then all of a sudden, start shooting and you're like wait what and then you scream hey did I hit you and then he says no and then you gotta wind this up and then his friend comes over and shoots you in the back so yeah I really like this gun it's stayed that so many times it performs very well uh, it's, it's a precision, it, it's very accurate, very, very accurate, am I out of ammo, or, oh uh, yeah, I'm out, but very high, high precision rifle, precision, Rifle, very accurate. If you throw on like a grip, a grip and a red dot, you'd make this thing like, this thing could be a trillion times better. You'd be able to like, see everything and hold on to the gun more firmly because it's kind of, doesn't really feel good holding on to the tack wheels. And if you're asking why this is broken, I dropped it before I started my YouTube channel. So, yeah. But, this will definitely outperform. I, this, in my opinion, if it's like like a rental M4 that you've seen somewhere, this will probably outperform it. Licensed by H&K. That looks backwards. Ah, oh, crap. It's licensed by H&K. Um, it's very, very reliable. You can, you can literally grab this off the ground, wind up the mag, and then go find somebody halfway across the map and probably try and, and probably be able to take them out if you're that good of a shot. If you're used to using snipers, this will definitely suit you. This will suit you a lot. Because it's a high precision rifle. Yes, it's cheap, but why are M4s already assembled, that are already assembled, so high priced? And you can buy one of these for like 
$130. And they could probably outperform a couple of M4s. That's just my question. Why is this better than a $500 M4? Why is that? Well, I don't know. <laughs>